This short demonstration on how to use ZWCAD Workgroup Manager with PTC Wind Tool. So you'll notice that we are inside ZWCAD at the moment, and once you load the, the Workgroup Manager, you'll notice this extra PTC Wind Tool tab with various functions um, available. So you can um, create new documents, you can open up from the Wind Tool environment or search the Wind Tool environment and from there check in, upload and check out. So let's go ahead and check our connection to our Winchell server first. And you'll notice that we are connected to a server and we have a workspace available as well. Right, so let's quickly jump into Winchell and let's just take a look. So there's our um, workspace, if I open up, that is currently empty. Okay, so for this demonstration, I'm going to upload a drawing um, from a local drive. So I'm just going to go open. I'm going to open up a drawing. And you'll notice that this is an assembly drawing. So we've got a few parts in here. And we're going to upload that into Winchell. Okay, so let's start and select Upload. You'll notice all the information. So upload that and it will tell us that the upload was successful. So let's quickly go back to Winchell and let's just quickly take a look what happened there. So I'm just gonna refresh my page and you'll notice that the drawing is in Winchell now. It's not checked in yet, um, but it says we've, it's a new document. Okay, so we know that the upload was successful. Um, so let's go ahead and check it in. And let's just give it a comment and I'm going to select Auto Associate Parts with CAD Documents. Click Check In. And if we go back to Winchell now, we refresh our page again. You'll notice that the part or the drawing has been checked in and it also created a windshield part for that. Okay, so let's quickly go to our product um, folder. Let's just see what's in there. So you'll notice that the drawing is in there and then all the other components that was part of that assembly drawing is also um, in the workspace now or in the in the product um, folder so let's quickly go and look at the information on the assembly and you'll notice that it's checked in at the moment and if we go to our structure page also notice that there's our top level assembly with all the other components in there as well. Okay, so now everything is inside Winchell. So let's quickly go back to our workspace and let's go through a little bit of a scenario where we'll make a change to this component. Okay, so we're going to go back to ZWCAD. We're going to close this out now. That's the one that's from the hard drive. And we're going to open up this from Winchell now. Okay, so this might, might be a week or a month or a year later. So I'm going to select a drawing to open. And you can view all the information, see the version, and also who um, made the last changes. So I'm going to say check out and open. So it's going to say my check out was successful. I'm going to say OK, and you'll notice the drawing is open. So then what I'll do next is um, just view the status inside Winchell, just for this demonstration. And you will notice that it is checked out. Yeah. So then we can make our change as needed. So I'm just going to add a quick dimension okay. so 
or changes made, you can go ahead and do, do anything that, that needs to be done to this drawing. And then when you've made all your changes, you can just check it back in. It says it is currently checked out, so you can just OK on that. And then say check in. Just uh, You can add any comment here that makes sense. Uh, we should make that two. I'm going to select auto associate part. So check in. And then if we go back to the wind tool, I'm going to refresh my page. And see it's no longer checked out. And the version also updated. If we go to the information, you'll notice that the status is checked in here as well. Version updated and all the other changes that might have um, been and all the other changes would also show up here that, that you've made. Okay. So thank you very much.